looking for tomorrow. Where's the focus of your investment now? Is it in the upstream? Uh, is it gas? Is it oil? What? Yeah, we today, uh, it's our focus is uh, building our capacity to deliver gas to the domestic market. Yes, uh, uh, we understand the world needs gas, you know, we also see the clear connection between energy availability, energy sufficiency, and development of gas in every, any country that is gas, uh, gas rich country. We're actually a gas country with associated oil. Uh, many people don't realize this, but that's the reality. You have more gas. You have more gas than, than oil equivalent. And, and that means uh, our focus is to see how can we use gas to provide the alternative fuel that we need. Uh, understand uh, the ongoing conversations around the world around energy transition, but you know, what we're trying to sort out is actually resolving the issue of energy availability. And the cheapest route to that in our context is to, to develop gas into the domestic market, and that way uh, you have to provide a replacement fuel uh, before you really worry about uh, some, something else. Yes, our focus is on gas uh, for domestic market, and then, of course, uh, it also creates the cash outside there. You know, the world needs it. There are a number of initiatives that are going on to see how we can build new LNG plants, both plotting and, and fixed, and a number of uh, development, many of them are in different developmental stage, but clearly within, within sight. So, so our focus is uh, building the gas, uh, developing the gas resources. So it's been a long objective to get, harness the gas and get it into the country and and to use it, which means building Yes, pipelines. absolutely, but it's never this uh, frontal uh, because we see clear opportunity that gas creates today. That wasn't there, you know, maybe 10 years ago. Right. So are you building the pipelines and the networks now? Uh, absolutely. Today we, we're building a number of trunk lines uh, that will supply gas within the, our network. And, of course, it's very understandable. It's NMPC that is driving at the forward uh, uh, in this situation, but clearly understandable. And building the infrastructure means that people will, upstream people can actually now produce the gas and put it into our, into our network. And right. uh, this synergy is working. And, and perhaps within the next three, four years, and I'm sure that the, there will be clearly a mature uh, in-country in uh, gas infrastructure. In, so, in place. so it's in process. It's a process. process now. What scale in terms of investment? Make your pardon? Uh, the scale of the investment that's required? Yeah, what we see is uh, we probably need uh, 10 to $15 billion uh, within two, three years. Uh, that should cover the immediate um, gap. And of course, scaling up means uh, looking beyond providing gas in the domestic market, which is to see how uh, our, our relationships, our partnership can create gas for export. And of course, when you look at that, you know, probably for another incremental 10 to $12 billion in the short term and, and creating the opportunity for growth, you know, subsequent to that. So for export, do you mean a gas pipeline in, across Africa? Or you, do you think there's opportunities, new opportunities for Nigeria in terms of uh, LNG and global gas markets? Yes, it is. You know, there's an ongoing engagement and very, in a very advanced stage at a feed level to create a pipeline that will pass through uh, 13 African countries into Morocco, then uh, jump into, uh, into, into Europe. What that will do will create integration among the African countries, a number of countries that do, not have, do have gas uh, resources, so that that collaboration will enable them have access to those pipeline. And our estimate is to see a $25 billion project uh, clear line of sight around financing for that project. And $25 billion. $21 billion for that line. And then, and then the alternate route is to pass through the center of our country all the way through the Sahara into Algeria, then into Europe. You know? And the reason is very clear, quite is practical. We do not have uh, issues around availability of the gas resources, so, so it's, it's there. And of course, we also understand that uh, maybe a little slower, but surely much cheaper process of transporting gas across the uh, region. Right. So have either of these projects started, or are they just in planning phases? Yeah, the Nigeria-Morocco gas pipeline is beyond planning. I think we, we hope to see FID by the end of the year. Really? I'm uh, sure. Yeah. That's, that's, that's our plan. Right. And that project is 20... About $25 billion. Right. And is the financing? Financing largely within sight. Yes. Right. Uh, substantial commitment. So that would be a very big commitment. It is. Yeah. So that's... Yeah. And by the end of the year? By the end of the year. Yeah. So... And do you see opportunities uh, to expand Nigeria's role in LNG, or is that, you know, with the U.S. and with Qatar and other developments, 
is that opportunity still there? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, yes. Uh, today, we, we're building the seventh train, which will uh, likely double our current capacity uh, in the NLNG. And also, to, we're working on uh, two other projects. Uh, one is the fixed uh, LNG project. I don't want to mention there's some ND around it, but I know that uh, we've reached an, an advanced state of commitment so that we can bring back another 12 million tons uh, facility in, in the country. And several other uh, floating LNG projects, two are clearly at maturity point, and a number of uh, interests uh, by partners clearly at planning stage, but, but obviously we have a line of sight around at least three to four floating LNGs, and okay. then uh, and a fixed LNG. And of course, uh, we're also uh, engaging our partners to see how we can add another train on the, on the NLNG, making, it, uh, making an eight train. So there's a huge uh, opportunity and a huge push towards making LNG workforce. Right. Energy for today, energy for tomorrow.